Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Tom Chapman, and this is going to be part five of my Map Tool tutorial series. This is going to be a quick one about exporting and importing maps. And what uh, what this means is if someone sends you a map file, you can import it into your current campaign. And I'm going to go over how to do that right now. So to show you how to do this, first I'm going to show you how to export a map, because that's my first step I need to do. Now, a few years ago, I ran what I'm showing you how I prep. Uh, the Crypt of the Everpool, Everflame. And so I've had this campaign saved for a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that original file because I have this map that I already have done. It's very simple, nothing crazy. I've got my three orc tokens on here. I've got this forest pathway. If I hit Control G, I'll go over this again. I've got my grid set up to my map. But I don't want to redo this one. Uh, it's already done. I don't want to figure out where I saved this map on my computer. I don't want to redo these orc tokens. So I'm going to go up here to map and I'm going to go down here to export map. So I'm going to click that. I'm on my desktop and I'm just going to call this, that's a perfect name right there actually, 001 period first flight. Uh, should be first fight. I think that's okay. 001 first fight. And I'm going to click save. It'll tell me that it saved the map. Perfect. I'm going to go back to my original one that I'm working on right now. I'm going to go up to map. And I'm going to click on import map. Now this is experimental. Um, it's, I've had no problem using this so far. So I'm just going to click yes. And I'm going to go up to my desktop. And I'm going to look for, there it is, 001 period first fight. I'm going to click open. Map contains exposed areas. Uh, yes, reset all the fog. And now I have this imported map. If I go up to select map, I now have my adventure progression and my first fight. Now I'm also going to do this with some other things too because I also want the world map on here and I want that as an option too. So I'm going to go over to another instance of map tool I have open that is running Curse the Crimson Throne where I have my world map. I don't want to do the editing, I don't want to repaste this or anything. So I'm just going to go up here again to map, export, looks good, save, okay, back to my original instance, map, import, Go to my desktop, and my world map is what I'm looking for. Okay, I don't want to reset that, and now I have my world map. Before anything else, I'm going to save so that I keep that. Now I've got these two. You'll notice that they're both named the same thing. Uh, first fight, uh, that's, I need to rename this, so I'm going to go up here to map, edit map, and this allows me to rename it. First off, I want this to be 002 for right now, and this is first fight, not first flight. So I redid that. Okay. You'll notice that my tokens shifted a little bit. This resets everything on your map for some odd reason, so my grid is not completely lined up now. If I zoom in, you can see the original grid lines for the map and then my grid lines. To adjust this, I'm going to hit Control shift a and I just drag it over. Now it's a little more complicated when you first set up a map, but that's all you need to know for right now to get those lines matched back up. Okay, and save again. Now one more part that I want to add to this real quick is I have my world map, adventure progression, and first fight. Um, I also need to add a handout section because there is a single handout in this, and so it comes after adventure progression. I consider it part of the adventure progression, so I'm going to go up here to Map, New Map. I'm going to change my background to black because really all that matters is the handout itself. Click OK. And I'm going to rename this 000A period handouts. Click OK. And I'm going to say it is not player visible. And now I have a place to put my handouts. So that's it for right now, exporting and importing maps that you might have. Uh, this is a great way if someone did something great that you don't want to reinvent the wheel on, just ask them to send you 
the map tool file, the single map export, and you can put it right in any campaign you have. That's it for now. We'll see you in part six.